change the name oh. in such a way that it resonates in some way in everybody's mind. Right. Now you… you… you are using an English name for an Indian nation. Hardly two, three percent of, our, of us can speak English language in this country properly, okay? The remaining people are yet essentially left out. I think this is one thing I would like to request the present Prime Minister. We must rename this country in a way it reverberates in everybody's hearts. Wow, wow, wow. <laughs> I know a whole lot of uh, intellectual crowd will say, what is in a name? Yes. Okay, call yourself Tobu, <laughs> call yourself Momo. People are doing that. Yes. I am not saying… I am not against anything. All I am saying is, when you utter your name, you must understand there is sound. Whatever we utter is only a sound. The meaning is only a psychological thing, a social thing. Right now if I say Kiran, it's only a sound. The meaning is psychological and social. Leave the meaning of it. The sound is existential and it has a power. Bharat has power. That's this true. power has to reverberate through everybody's hearts in this country.